Good morning. Welcome back to Fife. I guess I shouldn't even say good morning because you guys can play these videos at any given time of the day, and I hope that you are. So we are here from the Kettle Moraine YMCA, Addie from West Washington and Kim from Fife. We're going to do a Tabata style. We've had quite a bit of uh, comments. I've had a few um, where people have said we really like the Tabata because we can do something at any point in time in our day, just carve it out for a little 15, 20 minute, 30 minute, depending on how many rounds you guys want to do. This will probably be about 16 to 20 minutes or so. Um, so we're going to work for 20 seconds, 10 second break, and then you're going to do that um, eight rounds through. So two moves. First of all, we're going to do jumping jacks and then high knees. Again, 20 seconds and 10 seconds of a break. And then burpees with a squat will be paired. And then walking lunge with an up, down, up, down plank. So down, up, down, and then butt kicks and then mountain climbers. So two moves, we're just gonna go through it eight times, 20 seconds of work, 10 second rest. Are you guys ready to do this? Yes. Make sure that your body is warmed up and ready to go. Addie and I are already warmed up, so we're just gonna start right into it. So right here, we're gonna do jumping jacks. I have a timer that's gonna go that will tell us. So take it at your own pace. And if you don't want to do regular jumping jacks, you can step out. So options are yours. If your shoulders bother you, you can be here. All right, take your break. We're going into our high knee. Again, if you don't want to jump, if you do want to take that impact out, you can be right here, you guys. Most of my peeps know I'm all about the options, so tailor it to what you need, what you like, and what works for your body. How high can you bring up those knees? Take your break. Back to your jacks. Quick little workout. Get your heart pumping. Might be easier for you guys to take naps now that you're at home, so when you get that 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock urge, maybe you just need a quick little workout. Back to those high knees. Start to get yourself revitalized. Re-energized. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Over halfway. Woo. Back to your jacks. How you doing out there? Good, man. Good. You guys got this. You got this, stay strong, stay tall. Again, if you don't want the jump, take the jump out. Make it low impact. Woo. Back to your high knees. Tabata style, you guys can do anything you want. You can load those timers on your own phones. You can use a kitchen timer. Although, if it's something that you don't like and you don't want to do it, I still want to challenge you. You got this. Back to jumping jacks. 40 seconds left. Woo! Someday soon, we will have a spring. <laughs> the reason I say someday soon is on this particular day it's snowing again. <laughs> but you guys, I want you to think about getting outside and start walking, start getting ready for those warmer days. 
So even though you might be home, working from home, helping the kids at school, you can't come into your favorite instructor's classes or use our weight room, we still want you to know that you have options with us here at the Y. That is it. That's it for that round. You got it. All right, grab water as you need it. We're going into our burpees with squats. All right, here we go, you guys. We're not gonna take a lot of time to rest. Here you can always use a chair or a table if you don't want to go down to the floor. If, yep, step back if you don't want to jump it back. Into that squat. Body weight squat, keep your knees back behind your toes. Squeeze your bum on the way up. Squeeze on the way up, squeeze, squeeze. Hands are up, they're not rusted on your legs at all. If you need to, keep them up. Keep them up. Whatever works for you. Almost there, but squeeze. Squeeze tight. Nice, take your break. 10 second break, you've earned it. Enjoy it. Starting to breathe heavy. <laughs> you got this, you guys. Woo. Squeeze. Yes. Nice job, you guys. You can always put some weight in your hands in that squat if you so choose. Going into that burpee. Here we go. Make sure those hips don't fall down. You want your back to be secure and safe. So watch that lower back when you're going into those burpees. Squeeze, squeeze. Get low. Woo! You got this, you guys. Nice. Whew. Almost done. <laughs> Almost there. You got this. Thirty seconds, not even. Keep breathing, you guys. Make sure you're not holding your breath on any of these moves. Push your weight back. Hold on to a counter if you need to, or a chair. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. All right, so walking lunge, you guys. If you want, if you have something, you can hold on to canned goods, bottles of water, whatever. You're gonna stay on that same side and go into that walking lunge. Because Addie and I don't have a lot of room, we're just gonna alternate and do a forward lunge, okay? So we're gonna just alternate. If you guys want, you can walk forward for one, and then the other leg next time, okay? 
options are yours. Here we go. Oh, I didn't say what we're doing with it. You guys are gonna like this one. So from your plank, come down, come up, come down, come up. Really tighten up your core. Try to isolate your body from rocking left and right. Here we go. Again, you can add weight. If you are walking, I want your weight down here. Option again, weight in both hands or goblet style. If you're just working on one leg, you're gonna step forward with that same leg the entire time, okay? So options are yours. So starting off, you can start in your, on your forearms or on your hands, up to you, but come down and then come up. There's lots of challenges that are going on now. I'm sure you've seen these, but really do your best to isolate your hips from rocking from side to side. And come down, back up. You guys are almost done with your workout. Closer to the end than you are the beginning. When you're in this lunge, think about that foot stepping forward. Keep your knee back behind your toes, but that knee should really track on that middle toe. Push into that heel, feel the engagement in your glutes. Get ready to go and come up. Finding something soft for those forearms to land on. Or you could always just forget about it and build up some calluses. <laughs> Woo. Oh man. Packing a little bit of a punch. Nice little quick burst here. You know it. It's quick. Packs a punch. You guys can pair this with a weight workout since this is all cardio. Give yourself some options. If you want to do this at one part of your day, add some weights in in a little while. Always nice little option to pair up a couple of workouts. You're almost there, you guys, come on. We are breathing heavy, continuous movement. This is going into round seven, two more to go. If you need, for balance, hand on a chair, fingertips on a wall. So finding the options that work for you, make sure that you're not stepping too wide. If this up, down, up, down is too much, you can always just hold a regular plank and you can be here. If you need to do an elevated plank, plank <laughs> Plank. <laughs> you can do an elevated plank from a chair or a table. Just make sure that your butt is down. You can even be in your knees and be here and just hold it. Okay, so options are yours. That is it, you guys. Moving on, butt kicks and mountain climbers, okay? So butt kicks here and then mountain climbers are here, okay? This is it, last two moves, and then we're done. Oh, here we go. Again, if you don't wanna jump, you can be here, or if you'd rather be here and feel like this gets your heart rate up a little more, that is fine. Again, you wanna always think about what is feeling good for your body, okay? Even if it's just here in place. 
and get those arms pumping. You don't have to worry about bringing those um, heels up to your bum. Almost there. Woo. And come back up. It's getting long. <laughs> That's all right. Bring those heels up. Or again, if you'd rather bring those knees up, add those arms in. That'll give you a little higher heart rate. You guys can always do these jumping up on your stairs at home. Kitchen stairs, basement stairs, attic stairs. Where do you have stairs? <laughs> you got this, you guys. Hands elevated again, could work. Put them on a table, on a chair. <sighs> Round five already, we're almost done. Hang in there. Almost done, you guys, you got this. Be strong, you're almost finished. Nice little break for your day to get you energized. Get some of those endorphins moving. Feel free to send us some information on what you would like to see. Woo. Almost done, you guys. Woo. <sighs> Stay strong. Keep that weight over those shoulders, or excuse me, over the wrists, so alignment. Shoulders right over those wrists. Two left. <sighs> Almost there. Like I said, a nice little butt kicker. No pun intended. Or maybe. Stand nice and tall here, you guys. One more. One more. Whew. This is it. Draw those knees in. Keep it tight. You're almost there. Come on, you got this. Two and one. That is it, you guys. Nice job, way to go, high five, high five. Have a wonderful day, take care.